Hey everybody, this is Jesse from Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to turn your Nexus 5 into your own personal answering service. So raise your hand if you love visual voicemail. My hand's up because I think visual voicemail is one of the best things to come out of smartphones. You can use it, you don't have to wade through dial menus, you can see all of your messages, they're really easy to see, just right there ready for you. But you don't have visual voicemail if you're using Verizon unless you want to pay money for it. And on AT&T, you can't use visual voicemail unless you're using a device with LTE. So if you have a Nexus 4 on AT&T, you can't use their visual voicemail. So I found a visual voicemail service that works on any carrier and almost any Android phone. And the best part is that it has many more features than you would find in most visual voicemail apps. And it's free. So direct your phone to the Umail Visual Voicemail app in the Play Store. Once you get there, open it up after you download it. Let me see this menu. You can either join or log in. When you join, you're going to get a menu um, where you enter in a security pin, your phone number, and your email address. The email address and the pin is what you'll use to log into Umail if you're on another if you're on another device or if you want to install it and you want to reinstall it. You don't want to lose your personalized greetings. I'll talk to you more about that later. So I'm actually going to log in right now on my phone, entering in my phone number and my PIN. So once you do that, you'll get a message to activate email. Go ahead and do that. When you do that, it's automatically going to forward voicemail messages from the voicemail service you use now to Umail's voicemail service. Um, that should work automatically without you having to do anything. If for some reason that doesn't work, They'll actually give you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that manually, which just includes calling your voicemail and then entering in the phone number that Umail gives you as the forwarding address for your voicemail. But we don't have to do anything about that right now. We'll just verify to let you know that it's working. It'll send you a test call. You wait for it for a second. And you wait for it. Here's the call. I'm going to deny the call. Hit I deny the call. And then you'll get a voicemail shortly. This, see, I just got it. That's good. So we know everything's working right. It'll ask you to upload your contacts to Umail, which is something I highly recommend because that'll enable you to make custom greetings for every contact, which is pretty amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and hit upload. Um, I think I've already done this, actually, so it might say upload canceled. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is where you see... Um, the screen for everyone who's called you. You can go through, you can select a message, you can listen to it. This is the test call. Congratulations. We've successfully verified that you're Okay, so it's working. If you don't want to hear it out of the loudspeaker actually, just tap this icon down here and it'll switch to that headset so you don't have to listen to that every time. Okay. So what really stands this um service apart from the other <coughs> uh visual voicemail services are the greetings. So you can go over here, hit greetings. You can record a new greeting by tapping the plus sign right here, record a new greeting. Or you can pick one of their greetings that they give you. These are pretty standard. You have, um, let's see, this tells uh, the caller that you're unavailable. You've got different, actually pretty cool stuff. One of them says um, blocked, un blocked unknown. If you select this one, they'll get a message saying that you've blocked all unknown callers. Um, so <clears throat> what I find really great about this app is that once you select a greeting, so you can record one. So say you've recorded one with the plus sign here. Here's one that I've pre previously recorded. You can actually either set this as default, which means that all of your callers will hear this greeting, or you can add contacts. So you can select people from your contacts and add it to this greeting, which means that every caller you add will hear this greeting and everyone else will hear your default. So for this greeting, I've recorded this for my best friend. His name's Anton. And... Um, I've selected him here, so only he's going to hear this greeting. Everyone else is going to hear the standard greeting. So um, this is great because you can actually personalize greetings for any caller that you want. You can make one for your friend, make one for your mom. You can do whatever you want. It's pretty great. Another thing that you can do, which I think is amazing, is this greeting right here, number out of service, is a standard. It's the it's the it's the greeting you hear when your phone when you call a phone. It's on service. You get the the tone and then the robotic voice saying, "We're sorry, the number you've dialed, all that." You can select that greeting, then you can add people to it. So you can trick people into thinking that your phone number doesn't work. This is particularly useful if you're getting calls from bill collectors. So for me, um, if, if you get a call from someone that you don't like, it's either in your main messages here, you can go to, to hangups, which are people who've called you and hung up without leaving a message. So here's a bill collector, actually. You can long press, 
and then you can hit ditch. I've actually already ditched this, so I'm going to do it right now. Once you hit ditch, it'll ask you to confirm. That means that all the callers who've been ditched hear that your number is out of service. So when I go over here to people, you can actually select it, select ditch, and these are all the people that I've ditched, which are all bill collectors. That means anytime they call, they won't be able to leave a message, and they'll hear that your number is out of service, they'll take you off the call list. It's pretty awesome. Highly recommend it. If any time you want to turn off email, you just go here to the overflow menu option, go to preferences. You're going to go to email accounts, scroll down to the bottom and hit return to carrier voicemail. Do that and then email will not will no longer be set up to receive your voicemails. You're going to get your voicemails the way you always did. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Email is a really great service that I highly recommend anyone check out because I think it's worth it. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And for the full tutorial, check out Nexus 5 Softmodding. Thanks a lot.